morning, and thank you for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Gates. A heads up this morning before you head out. There are new traffic lights in Tyler, but these are not your typical traffic signals. At the intersections of Bonner at Front Street and Pilexi at Loop 323, there's now a double arrow flashing red light. Some drivers are confused, and there are signs to tell you when it's okay to make a right turn at a red light. If the double arrows are flashing, it's okay to turn. If the arrows are solid, then you'll have to wait for the green light to make a right turn. City representatives say the two locations where the lights are installed have statistically been trouble spots. Because we think it's advantageous to us to reduce accidents, so why not use it? And it makes it a little bit more obvious to those drivers and hopefully we'll reduce some accidents. This technology is being used all across the United States. It was first introduced in 2011. Traffic engineers, though, say Tyler is actually one of the first Texas cities to use these new traffic lights. A follow-up now. We've learned a man convicted of beating his wife is now charged with her murder. Patty McHugh died days after she was badly beaten on Thanksgiving of 2011. Her husband, Kelly Gage, had only been charged with beating her and not causing her death. But during a hearing Monday morning, the murder indictment was announced. Gage faces up to life in prison if convicted. Looking ahead, the Coors Bud Drive will go on despite a fire at the Longview plant last month. The warehouse fire forced the company to move operations to another facility. The change threatened the company's 17-year tradition of holding a blood drive with Carter Blood Care. But they found a new location. The drive will now be on August 21st at the Hampton Inn on Eastman Road in Longview. You can stop by any time all day to donate, and you'll also get burgers and beverages. Changes are coming to our forecast here in East Texas, ones I think everyone's going to like. Mm. Let's check in with Scott Fossey. Clinton, Dana, your Tuesday weather forecast here in the Piney Woods. More sunshine today than yesterday. Some early morning clouds out there. Temperatures climb into the mid-80s by lunchtime. Expect highs today near about 91, dropping back into the upper 80s by the time you head home this evening. Temperatures for the rest of the week significantly cooler than normal for this time of the year. Powerful upper-level low-pressure systems starting to organize over the Great Basin. Rain and thunderstorms today well out to the west of us and west of the I-35 corridor during the heat of the day. The picture here, between about 12 30 and 1 o'clock. Here in East Texas today, variably to mostly sunny skies, increasing clouds around the region as we go into the evening and overnight hours tonight as this storm system pushes out over the central and southern plains tomorrow. It's a slow moving system. We'll start to increase our rain chances rapidly tomorrow on Wednesday. Keep our temperatures hovering pretty close to that 90 degree mark, if not in the upper 80s tomorrow. Rain chances really increase, could be heavy at times overnight Wednesday night during the pre dawn hours on Thursday morning. Check out your highs Thursday and Friday. All low to mid 80s. Thanks Scott for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com.